Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. I'm John and I want to thank you so much for clicking on my latest video. Today we are doing a tale of two Deadpool. Yes. <laughs> we have the 1992 Uncanny X-Force, Uncanny X-Men X-Force, Spring Out Dagger Deadpool from 1992, the original Toy Biz. This is the very first time that Deadpool was ever made into an action figure. Yes, this is action figure number one for Deadpool. Pretty cool. And we also have the latest Deadpool action figure. Marvel 80 Years, the Uncanny X-Men X-Force Deadpool from Hasbro, and this is the special exclusive um, retro carded. It's gonna look like this card, almost. What's really funny is Deadpool's on the front coming at you with two katanas, and on the back, he's going away from you. <laughs> the back of the box is really the back, get it? That's funny, that's funny, it's so funny. All right, we're going to get this open and we're going to look at these things side by side, the front and the back, and uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be unlike anything you've ever seen before. I'm sure it is. Just wait. Just wait. All right, strap yourselves in, folks, because here we go. Sorry I clapped. I hope that clap wasn't really loud. We're going to open this thing up from the bottom. Because that's how I prefer to open packages. That way when you put them back on the shelf, they're on there like that and the upper tape is still sealed, making it appear as though it is a brand new unopened box. So I always open from the bottom. And here he is, Deadpool, in all his glory. Marvel 80 years, 14 up and up. These are more for adult collectors. The Uncanny X-Men X-Force. The X-Force thing is sort of cut off by the bubble. Or I think it was more visible in the original. We'll compare them soon enough. Katana and another Katana. <laughs> That's funny. Always the hilarious one Deadpool is. So Deadpool comes with two katanas strapped to his back. He's got two submachine guns. He's got a giant red and black machine gun rifle with a bazooka grenade launcher thing on the bottom, it looks like. And he's got a pistol, his signature pistol. Does he have a signature pistol? Well, he does now. Very cool outfit here for Deadpool. Look at that belt buckle, love it. This is awesome. On the back, we have, here comes Deadpool. Deadpool. Hey there, friends. My name is Deadpool, the merc with a mouth. I am, like, a mercenary. I also have a mouth. But, like, don't most mercenaries. I like to use mine to spout a consistent or a constant stream of jokes. I eat chimichangas. I also have a healing factor which I also use to eat chimichangas. <laughs> yes. Okay, folks, say Deadpool is the greatest of all time. Deadpool is the greatest of all time. What? Oh, come on. Advantage Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So Cerebro Scan, Subject Deadpool, Real name unrevealed, height 6 feet, weight 185 pounds. First appearance, New Mutants, number 98, February of 1991. I wonder if I have that comic. Hmm. I didn't collect much of the New Mutants, so I probably don't own that comic. I remember getting X-Force, and I always thought he first appeared in there, but I guess not. I have a good run chunk of X-Force, but not New Mutants, so I might not own that one. Huh. Energy projection. Ouch, it's pretty low. Mental powers. Oh, come on, he's saying, because it's pretty low. Strength is average. Fighting abilities way up there. Advantage Deadpool. Hiya. And intelligence is, again, pretty low. That's why he's saying what. Hasbro, Marvel, blah, blah, blah. 
And this is showing the back of Deadpool also. You get a nice look at his tight ass. Instead of being able to see the other figures in the line, you have to look at his tight ass. That's Deadpool for you. All right. So let's compare him with the original. So the original is a little bit smaller, shorter down, different kind of hang clip. This is a punch out. This is the little tab over thing. Same imagery in the, uh, on the front of the box there, except this says spring out dagger, where this one says katana and another katana. What's pretty cool though, is check this out. So the figure itself has a Deadpool outfit where he's got these, this sort of black and red design. And he follows that same design. See it there? That is pretty cool. I like that. So the figures are mirrors of each other. Just well, This is a modern one that has way more, way more detail and super sophistication. A lot more accessories, too. This one really only came with two katanas, but it came with a trading card. Yes, we get a trading card of the super villain. And is that uh, Ka Ka Caliban? Yeah, I think that's Caliban in there. Cool. Let's look at the back of the old box. Oh, look, you can see many, many figures that were coming your way. Deadpool is a mercenary and one of the most dangerous assassins. What makes Deadpool so dangerous is not his super silent tracking ability or his assassin's arsenal of incredible weapons. It's his ability to paralyze his victims with fear. He enjoys doing that so much that sometimes he lets his victims go. A panic-stricken panic -stricken live victim, he reasons, does wonders for his reputation. Okay. And you can get these Marvel superheroes, if you're lucky. You can get these X-Force characters. I really, really want Strife and this cable. I need to get them. And these X-Men figures. Who do I need? I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I need a po No, I got Apocalypse. I might need Juggernaut. That might be the one I need. Got Sauron, got Sinister. Oh, I need, I need Sabretooth. I need Banshee. I need, do I need Forge? I think I need Forge. Forge, Banshee, Sabretooth, and Juggernaut are the ones I think I need of the X-Men. And then I really want Cable and Strife. Got the other ones I want from there. And of these, I think I got all these. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. But let's flip these around so you can see them side by side. So they took a lot of liberties with the back of the new packaging. Just kind of making it fun. Showing off, like, some of the retro X-Men figures and stuff that they made. But having it blocked, like we said, by Deadpool is pretty funny. Nice, 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 nice. Overall, I'm ecstatic to have both of these figures. I am really happy to have both the original one and this retro card one of a modern six inch to uh, just to have side by side in the collection. It would make a pretty cool looking display thing. All right, guys. I think that about does it, right? Thanks a lot for watching. I really, really appreciate this. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these. And, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a preference for this stuff? Do you like, do you like the Toy Biz 90s um, figures? Or are they just garbage to you? Do you think, oh, they're so terrible because they were such hokey things and they didn't work and they were just dumb or do you think there's a retro nostalgic feeling about these 90s toys that brings you back and you can't live without are you like me can you just not live without these things 
Or are you more into these Marvel 6-inch? Do you like them on the uh, retro cards, but like the detail and all the stuff that comes with it? Or are you like me and you just enjoy both? <laughs> and you gotta have them all. <laughs> gotta have everything. Uh, that's how I am. I gotta have them all. Gotta have everything. These boxes are cool, by the way. I just love the white box. It's such a neat, neat thing to add with it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm out of here, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Uh, yeah, Deadpool. <laughs>